So it has popped up that there has been some new monitor panels in the news from AUO and Samsung, AUO Optronics being a manufacturer that works with NVIDIA on their G-Sync HDR line, well, one screen right now, the first monitor of which to really show this off was the Asus ROG Swift PG27UQ. What is interesting is that the AUO have revealed a 3440x1440 35-inch curved panel featuring HDR, which of course sounds amazing, but we need to talk about this a bit because I'm afraid it isn't the good news it sounds like. I'll also go over the Samsung news which covers their two new grand circle format screens in another video, link in the description. So on this AUO panel, the stats on it are such, it's a 3440 by 1440 resolution on a VA panel with 8 backlight areas and a color space of DCI-P3 greater than or equal to 90%, 400 typical and 600 candela per square meter peak brightness, and of course it's being tagged as a HDR panel. No refresh rate is mentioned, and it's forecast to go into production in Q3 2017. Now, what my problem is, is that HDR is a term being thrown about completely casually right now, and being applied to a whole range of equipment that in reality fails to meet the quality one would expect from a truly HDR display. That's because when we think of HDR, we actually are thinking of everything that encompasses this package of panel statistics that all come together to create the colourful experience. HDR is actually only part of this experience, so a company can call their screens HDR, yet fail to provide quality local dimming or brightness levels or full DCI-P3 color space. Basically, they are using the term HDR to make you think their display is better than in reality it is. Not good. And for this AUO panel, the sad truth is that its stats don't meet the standards which make up a quality HDR screen. Before I go further on that point, I need to briefly explain what I mean by a standard HDR experience. In the TV market, to combat the frivolous use of HDR branding, the classification of a set of feature sets were created under the name of Ultra HD Premium. Essentially, if a TV has this certification, you're guaranteed that TV meets the best possible HDR experience, the best brightness, color range, local dimming areas, etc. There are a list of precise requirements it must have. If you buy a HDR TV, you should only be buying one with this Ultra HD Premium certification. Unfortunately, whilst the standard was introduced back in January 2016 for TVs, it hasn't been applied to desktop monitors. Primarily, it seems due to the HDMI 2.0 specification in the standard, whilst on desktop displays, the common connection is DisplayPort, and so this confusing mess of HDR being thrown about is rife across desktop monitors, as there is no one standard companies need to conform to, and so coming back to this AUO screen, whilst it is named HDR, it doesn't actually conform to what the TV might market Ultra HD Premium standard specifies. It lacks the right color space, it only has 8 backlight areas where the Ultra HD Premium standard specifies a need for 384, and it is well below the required peak brightness. So my sad point is that whilst I love the idea of HDR being brought into the 21x9 space, this screen looks to be a cheating way to do it. If you want to learn in far greater detail than my summarized version about HDR, then read the absolutely phenomenally good article over on TFT Central, link in the description, as they do a perfect job at explaining HDR in all its forms and what we really need. Now I'm probably going to need to do another video on this, as it's a big discussion point, but the good news for HDR on desktop monitors is NVIDIA's G-Sync HDR. This standard which they worked with AUO on to create the panel for the Asus ROG Swift PG27UQ actually meets the Ultra HD Premium standard that is used for TVs. It in fact technically up ones it with a higher refresh rate, so currently the only true HDR screen on the market right now is the ROG Swift pg 27 UQ. And so that's what we need, an ultra-wide version of that. It would be perfect. I hope NVIDIA continue to stick with this Ultra HD Premium standard, as it's what we need in the PC market space. A clear certification of a true HDR display. AMD is working on something similar with FreeSync 2, but they're lagging a bit behind as of now. So I hope that kind of explains this latest piece of news. Obviously things will change and hopefully we get more positive news in the future, but for now HDR and 21x9 don't seem to be gelling brilliantly.
Anyway, for more news, if you want to hear about the new Samsung Grand Circle 32x9 and 29x9 monitors, then check out that video linked in the description or just head over to my channel page and it'll be there. I'll be sure to keep you updated with all the latest information on ultra wide screens and in the meantime, check out any of the games I've covered on my channel at 21x9 and if there is anything I haven't covered on the channel, then leave a comment down below with what you'd like to see and I'll try and cover it. If you'd like to support the channel, the links to my Patreon page are in the description and Amazon affiliate links are there too. See you later.